All right, thing. Today we're gonna to be doing another Ponable dot KR challenge, and the challenge I'm gonna be doing today is gonna to be called input. So let's get started. So very first thing you do is just SSH in. So we SSH in. Then we put in the password, which is guest. Let's see, we have three files. We read the source code. Input dot C. Then we see this. Let's see if you know how to give input to the program. You just give me the correct inputs, then you'll get the flag. So we see that we have to give input of 100. And I guess at A has to be this, at B has to be this. And we clear stage one. And then we got standard O char buff, buff read. All right, let's just break this out one by one, I guess, for the most part. So what I'll do is just copy this uh, copy this go back right here so for the most part this challenge we have to pass the different um the different stages of of string comparison right here so we have stage one stage two and stage three so we'll probably break this up so i'll just open up a cali box right here And then if we just do CD desktop pwn and what is this called input so nano solve dot pi so from pwn import all so the very first thing that we have to do is uh, create at least a hundred characters for argc so we could do that simply just by creating args is equal to let's make it a random factor of a then we just multiply it times 100 that solves this first part right here now we need at arg v so which is basically args args uh, a which is a in ascii 65 is equal to that specific value of slash x and then zero zero and then args b so 66 is going to equal to that specific value specific value here so we just copy that Oop. so that's basically the first stage clear for the most part so we keep on going right here now stage two we have to read from standard in read zero and read two if you guys don't know what this is this is basically a file a standard in and then standard error that's basically what it is for the most part so we could basically do this just by doing os.pipe and if you guys don't know what os pi os pipe is we just do a quick Google to show you guys but basically OS pipe this basically creates pipes and return pairs of file descriptors in our case the pairs that we want to use is read and write that's basically what we use it for so read write and then after that we will use this later on to uh, to to write into I guess um, into uh, the specific files so to connect output from one method with the output to another method so that's basically what it is so we just to simply use OS pipe and then pass in two parts to it so read one and write one we're gonna do two pairs read one and write one and then v2 and write to os.pipe now we just had to os write we want to write to it we want to write to it and then we'll write to write one and then we just pass in our values and then os.write and then write to and then we pass in our files no, our um, whatever we want to pass in so in this case for 
this part we just have to pass in this four bytes. And then just go right here, paste it, copy this, go back right here, paste it. So that's I guess you could say this is stage stage one stage two and then from right here we could probably do something like um, since it's using OS we could probably do import OS all right then got that now for the next one we have to do a file open we have to open some type of file right here in this case we're opening OXA so we have to recreate that using Python which is pretty easy we do with open and then um, open the file that we we need to open so it'll be dash x zero a which matches um what we have on the right hand side oxa question mark and then we want to write to it because in this case it's um it's reading from it so it thinks that we have this file and then it copies it reads in the four bytes and it copies these values to the buffer so basically with open as f we just simply do f dot dot write and then we're going to write this into the file i'm going to write these four bytes And that's basically stage four. Well, we'll do stage stage three right now. So stage stage four. Now we got stage four. Now what we want to do is be able to open the file. In our case, I'm gonna use process process, and then we put executable in the location of the executable that we want to execute. So in our case, if you just go back right here. If you try PWD, you get oh, CD input uh, cat input that's oh, uh, control L cat input dot C. Is it this standard in the environment? Yes, yeah, input. Yes, yeah, input. So if you just do PWD, it's an input to. So all we need to do is just do home input and then to input two and then uh, input that'll be where our executable is located because if we check put ls we see input so if you just run input it's gonna ask us just give me the correct inputs and you will get the flag so from right here what we'll do is just pass in our arguments in our case I'll pass in args. And then uh, we see that uh, this file descriptor is standard in. So this first part, standard in, which is on DW1. So we'll, we'll technically do just do standard in equals R1. And then stand STD error is going to be R2. And this is where uh, our environment variables. So when you execute files in Python, you could place your environment variables inside. So we could technically do something like this. So Honestly, we could probably do something like this for stage three to make it less confusing. Stage three. You could probably make some kind of dictionary. So. Uh, and and then environment variables are right here, right? Yeah, string compare. So you probably do something like this. Oh, and it's basically our environment variables that we have here. Let's 
copy this place our environment variables and then later on in our program right here when we're executing the process we just do env is equal to n and I think that should be on. So now it's executing the process. And now if you see right here, we see that if we go down right here, there seems to be a connection, a socket connection for the most part. We connect to some kind of, we bind to some kind of socket. So technically how we do this, our C is gonna hold our socket value. So, uh, do it tell us where the socket value is going to be at? If accept this struct address, mem copy. <laughs> Welcome. Standard in, if not, each Jones port. Address, size of address, use another for size of struct. Oh, I think we could we could name our address. So I don't think it matters for the most part. So well, so we could like basically our port could be anything we put whatever we put in arc c technically so so args because you see right here arc c that's gonna hold our port so what's that that's 67 it's gonna equal to one two three four and it's a toy so that means it's turning a string to an integer one two three seven one two three four so we'll do con equals remote Go to uh, HP address, size of struct, any, so I'm guessing that's localhost. So it'll be localhost. And then always we just pass in one, two, three, four. And then con dot send line. And what it's expecting is uh, receiving four bytes and the four bytes that it wants to receive these four. So we just pass in inside here. And then p dot interactive. Process interactive. Okay, so now we have, I guess, our file set and ready. So all we need to do is basically us cat to solve that pie because this is just only gonna work on our local machine for the most part we wanted to work on um, the remote so we'll just cat it go inside here right here you can't create files in this directory because I guess the permissions what how they were set so if you do nano solve that pie Wait, uh, yeah we have no we don't have no permissions in this so we're gonna need to do is just go to the temporary folder temp uh yeah we can't even list stuff so mkdir testing one two three four five cd testing one two three four five okay then nano solve dot pi paste in our code so hopefully this should work for sure well, I guess one thing to note is that uh, I just have this saved up and then CD home LS. If you check cat input dot C, it's going to run bing cat on the, it's going to run the cat command on the flag, but on our, well, but whenever we run the program. So whenever we send the connection, it's gonna run bin cat on the flag and flag on our on our Python program where our Python program is located. But our Python program where it's located, TMP testing one two three four five doesn't have the 
flag. So what we need to do is set up a link to it. We have to create some symbolic link. So we could simply do that just by typing ln slash s and then the input of where our flag should be at. So be home input flag and then we just name it we name it flag because uh, that's what it's calling so we just call, press this ls so we try cutting flag we said we have no permissions i think yeah permissions denied so this like it links to the to the flag located in home input two. so now if we just type python 3 or python solve the pi we should get it uh our example. so <laughs> i guess this is in the coding video if everything doesn't come out correctly args so if you just do that python uh, execute i probably spelled that wrong Exe E X E C U Q table cannot open and fail, cannot open one, two, three, four. Cannot open one, two, three, four. Also, I guess that didn't work. I wonder if you try something different. What do you try? Four, four, four. Can I open? Can I connect localhost on four, four, four? Huh. Let's see. Check nano solve dot pi. Orgs a hundred. Or write one en mv process executable local host. Org 65, 66, 67, 1, 2, 3, 4, equals home input 2, org v, orgs standard in, or 1, standard error, or 2, environment con equals remote, local host, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, Send line. If I do something like that, and then just put, put it to two, three, four. Python solve that pi. Stage one and stage two cleared. Stage one and stage two clear. Huh? So stage three didn't clear. Oh wait. So yeah, stage one and stage two cleared. So this is getting interesting. So we check nano solve that pi. Stage one. Oh, I guess stage three didn't clear. So I wonder if I just place this. process well I might have it flipped yeah I think I might have it flipped so uh, this part like that let me just do that 
and then this part like that and wait home that equals en then we control that and now if you're on python three solve not python solve not pi stage four use another port i'm guessing i called another port so i'm guessing the port's being used up so uh one two three four one takes a four one two three four so now if you try this and boom stage five clear mommy i learned how to pass various input in linux so that was it for the most part so i guess if you if you go back to our code initially where we messed up was cat input dot c so i guess initially what was messed up was this part get environment i guess this was supposed to be flipped it's pretty weird well i think i kind of took brute force error if you didn't know but anyway that was about it for this challenge hopefully you guys learned something new and yeah anyway i'll get i'll see you guys in the next one peace